Happy Thursday, crafty friends. I'm coming on today with some exciting news. Um, I was approached by this company, Hippie Crafter, and they asked me if I would like to try some of their products out and let you guys know what I think. And I said, absolutely. Now this company, like I said, is called the Hippie Crafter and they're located in, at, in Miami Beach. And their motto is, relax, craft, and enjoy. And that's for sure. You know, that's what I'm all about. Crafting and getting that good, those good creative juices flowing. So, um, they also have free shipping over $20. They have paints and resins and papers and tapes and mica powder, as you can see. And so, I chose... Um, the mica powder set and the fabric paint set. So I'm going to show you the products and then I'll come back and do videos with what I am thinking that I'm going to do. Try them out, you know, let you know what I think um, in upcoming videos. So this is basically my, my unboxing and my showing you how beautiful these things are. So obviously, you know, I'm all about some color, so I love their packaging. So this, these are the mica powders. And let's see, let me turn them upside down so you can see the colors. And it has, it even comes with instructions on how to make your, they sell the resin, how to do that, how to do candles and soap. But you know, I'm going to do something with paper crafting, so we'll see. <gasps> Gasp! Is that not gorgeous? Mmm, okay, so... Y'all know I love some sparkle. So, um, I have a few ideas. I'm going to try to make my own um, mica watercolor. I'm going to try to do that, see how it works. I'm going to add it to some paint, see how that works. I'm going to use some different recipes um, as far as mixing it to make sure that I can get it so that it won't come off, you know, it won't rub off. I mean, I think hairspray will, will probably do the trick if... I were to just brush it on like perfect pearls. Um, but anyway, we're going to have so much fun with this. I'm so excited to just play with it. And the colors. Oh my goodness. And of course, I'll show you whatever I make, how it looks on black or white. So you can have that reference too. But look at those. And there's so many things you can do with mica powders, you know. Um, so this is going to be a super fun journey. So there are those. Now let me close this box back up. And then I'm going to show you the fabric paint. And it comes in a nice box like this. It has 24 colors in it. And it has metallic silver and gold. So, um, I back in the day, I had myself a little t-shirt painting business. I painted t-shirts and sweatshirts. And a friend of mine and myself had, like, remember Tupperware parties? Only we had t-shirt parties. And we had, like, a, a basic set of things that we made. And then, of course, you know, we could paint whatever. Um, as long as the, the image wasn't copyrighted. Um, and put it on a shirt for somebody. And... You know, there was a time where everybody wore something that was painted. Everybody. And then it just kind of fizzled out. And it made me sad. However, these paints, back in that day, they didn't have good paint that had fabric medium already in there. And the fabric medium is the secret ingredient that, they, that you have to have in paint to keep it from washing out of your clothes. And so, this is already got it in there. Um... I think, let's see, y'all can, yeah, y'all can see it, the beautiful colors, but, and silver and gold, ooh, ooh, that's exciting, so, um, I'm very excited about this, now, it says, um, it's washer and dryer safe, you don't have to iron it, so there's no heat setting, you just need to wait for it to, you know, wait 24 hours, I believe it said, for it to cure, and completely, and then, you know, you don't want to wash it in, um, okay, here's some instructions right here. Your item painted should be clean and dry, always, because fabric, when it comes, any kind of item that you buy has, um, 
oh, I forget what they call it. It has a, it has something in the fabric that needs to be washed out. Um, so you're starting with something clean and dry. No, you don't need to put any fabric softener in there because you want your fabric to hold the paint, you know. Um, this is, you can use chalk or a pencil to make a sketch first. Apply the fabric paint. Don't apply it too thickly. Wait 24 hours and it will be fully cured in seven days. Um, you can heat set, it says, to speed up the process. Um, and it should be washed, you know, avoid, you know, you're, you're obviously not going to soak it in water or anything like that, but, but, um, I'm so excited. And then just clean up with, let's see, I just say soap and water. That's what I always used to use. It says it can also be used on canvas, glass, paper, wood, tile, stones, and more. That's amazing. So... I am super excited for this because I had just told Bestie that, that I really kind of wanted to start painting on fabric again. Um, you know, I love paper crafting, and I can use this on paper crafting also, but I have several ideas to, to try this out, and, um, you know, it doesn't just have to be clothes. It can be bags or banners or flags for outdoors or pillowcases or, you know, you're... The world is your oyster. So, I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Hippie Crafter, for sending these to me. And I will be back soon with some projects. Oh, I also wanted to say, I know some people are, you know, they say, I can't draw. There's no way I could paint something on, on a piece of clothing or, you know. Okay, so you can take your archival ink. Now, it, it'll be a small image. But you can stamp on fabric with your archival ink and then paint the image. Also, if you have an iPad, you can, there's tons and tons and tons of free images. And some of them that you might th think are, they might have a copyright on them, but you can use them for your own personal use. So as long as you don't sell it, you're fine. Um... You know, you have to check into all that. But if you Google free black and white images and you can put any kind of criteria in there, it will blow your mind what comes up. And then, if you don't feel like you can draw, you can lay your piece, you can, you know, make it as big as your screen is or as big as you want it um, on your iPad or computer or whatever. Lay your piece of fabric over it and then just gently use chalk or something to make your outlines. And then fill in the blanks like you're coloring in a coloring book. You know, coloring books are also awesome resources for painting and simple images if you're, if you're not confident. But you know what I say? Get something out and go to town and have a big time. So anyway, um, I will link Hippie Crafter in the description box below. Y'all go check them out. They also um, have a... Uh, an area where you can sign up to get supplies and and um, try them out and do videos and do reviews for them. They also sell on Amazon. So, you know, I'm, I'm so excited about it. I'm so excited that it's a U.S. company that they reach out to me and that it's something that I'm extremely interested in trying and, and using, you know, on a daily basis. So, thank you very much. And y'all check them out, and I'll be back soon with some fun projects. I'll show some that I've already done, and I'll also do some with you. We'll try things out together. So I'm looking very forward to that. I hope y'all have a wonderful Christmas. It'll be after Christmas before I come back with the with project. But, um, yeah, y'all have a wonderful holiday. Love you guys. Blessings.